Breaker is the worst big team battle map, not just in Infinite, but out of every Halo game. Which is super unfortunate to say because I was super excited for this map's release. But why is it so terrible, I hear you ask? Well, of course, that's the question we'll be answering today. But before we do jump into today's video, if you do end up enjoying, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I really do appreciate it and it helps the channel out massively. But without wasting any more of your time, let's jump straight in. Breaker was the first big team battle map added to Infinite and as of right now it is still the only new addition. It's set in a banished ship salvage yard which is a pretty interesting concept, however its execution was handled relatively poorly. This map simply isn't fun to play on and that's down to three primary reasons. Number one, it's layout, number two, it's weapon placement, and number three, the vehicles available. Now it's layout isn't necessarily bad, granted it's a bit too small for a BTB map, however it's layout is massively affected due to the available weapons and vehicles, but what do I mean by this? Well, the weapons that spawn at base almost force a particular playstyle. There is almost always a sniper and another sniper type weapon, such as a stalker rifle or the shock rifle. This almost always causes a player to camp at their base, and if you're not the one camping, you can be damn well sure your opponent is. This can be troubling due to several reasons. First of all, due to the map's design, it's super easy to be killed by these snipers mere seconds after spawning in. There is plenty of high points for players to just hide, and it can be really frustrating to deal with. And because there will be players doing this on both teams, depending on the mode, it can lead to constant stalemates. Capture the Flag is certainly the main culprit here. Now, normally CTF is my favourite big team battle mode, but Breaker somehow makes me hate it. The campers obviously don't help, but it's almost impossible to make a strong push. Halo Infinite snipers can demolish vehicles, and when you don't have a sniper to worry about, there's probably still a shock rifle or dynamo grenade just itching to slow you down. I hope you don't plan on using a Warthog, because you definitely won't get far. But this is where map layout can also cause issues. On foot, there's only really two optimal routes, being the far left and far right of the map. Pushing straight across the middle isn't really recommended due to the massive lava stream. Now, if you were to try making your way towards the enemy base in a vehicle, again, you're sort of limited to just two routes. This being the ramp in the middle, with enough speed you'll make it across with no issue, or the tunnel. Now the tunnel, I wouldn't really recommend, because it can usually be a complete and utter death sentence. As I mentioned, dynamo grenades are very present on this map, and trying to take a vehicle down a tight tunnel with little to no breathing room, well, you're just asking to get EMP'd. These problems tend to make vehicles feel completely redundant, and of course this isn't just an issue with CTF, but this is where the problems are most present. It also doesn't help that there's only three vehicles available on this map. The Ghost, the Warthog, and the Mongoose. These never change. There's no Razorback, no Rocket Hog, no Chopper, not even a Gungoose. So there's never any variety here. The fact that there's no Razorback especially is kind of annoying due to modes like Stockpile existing. It's always the same three vehicles. Well, I mean, I should say two because no one uses the Mongoose anyway. The Ghost can be super annoying to face on Breaker 2, mostly due to the fact that anyone who uses it loves to spawn kill, but I guess that one could be a skill issue on my behalf. The fact that there's no Razorback is especially kind of annoying for modes like Stockpile, since it's basically designed for that, so it's super disappointing that there's no Razorbacks native to break it. I mean, when you look at the map, it's understandable why there's no Scorpion, Banshee, or Wasp, since they simply wouldn't work. The Wraith has potential since it's an artillery vehicle, and I bet using it would be super fun. Since there is the big canyon in the middle, you could use Wraiths at either side, sort of fire firing artillery shots at each other, and that would be super interesting. But obviously, with it being a smaller map, maybe there isn't enough room for it. However, no no Rocket Hog? I mean, I can't think of any logical reason as to why that wouldn't be present. It is literally just the Warthog with a rocket turret. But the point I'm trying to make here is vehicles are just depressing to use on this map. The lack of variety in routes to push with makes them feel pointless. It's always the same song and dance. We take a Warthog, someone throws a dynamo grenade, and everyone on board gets snagged out of the car. Now going back to the foot soldiers and the paths available for them, there's the pathway above the tunnel. This is a favorite for anyone who likes the repulsor. Don't get me wrong, I think it's super funny when someone uses it to blast a player into the fiery pit below, but when you just camp there, all game, 
trying to kill someone with it? That's just lame, man. You're not earning that. You're just being a coward. Moving on. Now, you can obviously take the tunnel if you're on foot, but I've already explained the problems with that when discussing vehicles. The only other option is the main banished complex, and this is where most of the combat takes place. But again, this is the same every single match. One team hides inside with some sort of shotgun or melee weapon, while the other team tries their hardest to push inside. There's usually a lot of threat sensors thrown about, and this all just gets so repetitive. There's no diversity in the combat scenario. When playing on this map, you'll always die the same way every game, whether that be sniped from halfway across the map, killed with a ghost at spawn, or blasted by the cowering creature with the repulsor. There's honestly no variety here. Its design looks like they tried to make a competitive map for a casual mode, and they removed most of the elements that make big team battle feel like a big team battle. I mean, come on, here's some footage of me when I play on Breaker. <laughs> And here's me again, playing absolutely any other map. I also don't think it helps that every time I play on it, my ping skyrockets. Like seriously, what's the deal with that? Are the only servers with Breaker halfway across the globe? Granted, that's more of a server issue rather than a map issue, but it still makes it less fun to play on. Breaker just simply isn't fun. Now, I'm not saying that you can't like the map, but you can't deny that it certainly has its issues. Obviously, the rest of Infinite's BTB maps aren't the most interesting thing in the world, but there's fun in the chaos they present. Breaker doesn't have that. Every match I play on, it's almost always the same. Anyway, on that note, I think we should leave this one here. Let me know what you think of Breaker down below. If you like it, what the hell's wrong with you? And if you don't, why? I'm genuinely curious. If you dislike the map, what are your reasons to dislike it? Not everyone's going to dislike it for the same reasons as me. And some people might actually like the reasons that I dislike. If that's the case, obviously that's completely fine. Of course, leave a like if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you're new here. As I said earlier on, I really do appreciate it. Thank you all for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.